This is a video to show some of the what I consider to be the essential basic commands of Talon. So it's essential to know how to open Talon once you've got it installed. I have a Talon shortcut on my desktop, but most people don't have that. So in order to find it, you have to go to C, go to your program files, go to Talon, and scroll down until you get to Talon.exe. Double clicking on this will launch Talon. But I like to use my shortcut on my desktop because I use Talon so much. Talon will show up in your tray. This menu shows up when it's booting up. A much larger one shows up when it's done booting. And now Talon is listening to everything I'm saying. Let's see what it's hearing with the command, command history. Now Talon is telling me exactly what it's hearing. Now let's do some more commands. Talon sleep. Talon is now asleep and it will only register a very limited number of commands. So instead of it hearing random things as I'm talking to you, the audience, it hears only the things it's supposed to be listening to while it's asleep. Talon wake. And now if I say random things, it'll start processing as you can see. Talon sleep. So let's go do something useful with Talon. Talon wake. Talon wake. M grid. Seven. Eight. Eight. Touch. Say notepad. Enter. Talon sleep. I have now managed to use Talon to open notepad, which I can use to show the differences between command mode and dictation mode. Right now Talon is sleeping, but if it was awake, it would be in command mode, which registers commands. You can also put it in dictation mode, which writes down pretty much everything you say. Let me show you the differences between the two now. Talon wake. Dictation mode. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, period. Enter. Enter. Command mode. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, period. So the only thing command mode registered in that whole string of text was the period. Dictation mode. Command mode. Clear line. Clear line. Go to sleep. Talon sleep. Talon sleep. Okay, so that is very basic dictation, very basic editing, very basic opening up notepad. Let's do some very basic mouse movements. Talon wake. M grid. Eight. Seven. Eight. Four. Touch.
Challenge sleep. So now I've got a browser open and I can use it to browse the internet, but I don't want to dictate. I want to spell out a website I want to go to. So it's very useful to know the Talon alphabet. And if you don't have it all memorized, where do you go? You use the command help alphabet to find the Talon alphabet. Talon wake. Help alphabet. Talon sleep. And as you can see, this is a phonetic alphabet that lets you spell out words. Talon wake. Backspace. Delete. 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 Trap. Air. Look. Odd. Near. Dot. Go down, go up, enter, Talon sleep. And this is the Talon community wiki. So the other thing to know that is essential is where to get help. Help close, help context. Help context. Talon wake. Help context. Talon sleep. Okay, so this is the help menu, the context menu, and as you can see, since it just went from a huge arm length long list of things to this tiny little thing, in sleep mode, there's really only two contexts that you can switch between the help menus, and the various modes. Help to. Now we are in the various modes that you can use while Talon is sleeping. Help context. Help return. Okay. So let's wake Talon up again. Talon wake. Help 13. Now we are in the history. Again, and those are various commands you can use to control your history. Help return. So all of these command lists are useful in different places. Number 10, the generic editor, is very useful in Notepad. Help 10. Help return. Help 10. Help return. Ah, that's 9, sorry. Help 9. And these are all the navigation commands for an editor. Say this is a phrase, period. Say this is a phrase, period. Period. Select line. Go left. Go right. Go way right. Help return. Help close. Talon sleep. And that is a list of essential commands to help get you started with Talon.